Welcome back everybody. Today I have a Kokono Azalea um, that I'm going to be working on. Now this is completely the wrong season to be trimming up any type of Azalea, but um, I like to experiment sometimes. See, right? There's a lot of bad information out there, false information, and I get it. This is not the best time of year to trim one of these up, but it's probably one of my least valuable um, my least valuable Satsuki or Satsuki Azaleas, however you want to pronounce that, um, that I bought this year. And the rest of them are going to wait till spring before I do the transformation. But this one, I kind of want to do a little experiment. I want to go ahead and trim it up the way I want it to look and then let it go through the rest of fall into winter, go through the winter, and I kind of want to see what happens with it compared to the other ones that I'm not actually trimming up. Um, I do have one that we're going to do after this that is a really nice um, azalea. But all I'm going to be doing is taking some key branches off the base of the trunk so I can stop the deformation of the trunk. With this one, I'm actually going to go through and take off all the branches I don't want. It's got a really weird growth pattern compared to the other azaleas. There's a lot of branches that just come off in sporadic directions. The other azaleas I have, um, they kind of hold their foliage, they all kind of finger up and fall, you know, go up towards the sun. This one has got branches that go down and to the left, right, all over the place. So I'm going to go through, take off all the branches I don't want, I'm not going to do any wiring, and then this thing can just kind of sit through winter and we'll see what it looks like in the spring. So let me zoom the camera in, I'm going to get trimmed away here. here is I have basically taken off all of the downward branches, all of the little spindly branches that come off the main trunk that I'm not going to want. This lower pad, I don't know how this is going to work out going into winter. Um, again, a lot of these major cuts really should make in spring after the flower is done because what this is going to do is cause the tree to think that it should do a big growth push. So coming into winter, not really sure how this is going to affect the tree, but I do have a bud here, right, that I left. There's a little tiny bud right there. I don't know if you guys saw that on the camera when I was rotating it around up close, but it is there. Um, I left that there. There's another one there. So hoping that this will survive, this branch, and I'll get a little pad down here. Eventually it's not going to flower at all next year, that's for sure but at least I've reduced it to the point where I don't have all of the spindly long growth coming off of it that I don't want. Um, now on the top, I would like to get some flowers out of this next year, so I have left the main pads on the top alone, and I've also left all these little branches in between because what I'm gonna do next year is cut back to those branches. After the flower, these are getting snipped off to here. Right? The closest branch I can get to the main trunk, that's where it's going can clip right off, then we're going to let it grow all summer long, let it build new buds, and then the following year, um, I shouldn't have to do this coming into fall, and it should set the pat or set the buds in really nice, and then the following year I should get really good flowering pads where I want them. So again, I've left the top kind of alone, hopefully I get some flowers there. Um, hopefully this doesn't mess with the tree too much, but as you know, you can see, it definitely looks a lot nicer now, the way that I've trimmed it up. This is probably going to be the front, it's got the most movement, you know, somewhere around here. And I do get it into a little bonsai pot. And you know, this is just step number one, again, doing it the wrong time of year, but I do like to experiment on my own and find out what happens when I do do things at the wrong time of year, or the wrong time of year so um, from my experience a lot of these things that are said online aren't always necessarily true so um, 
I understand that I'm not going to get any buds down here. You don't need flowering buds this year. There's not going to be any flowers down here next year, but um, we'll see. We'll see if it does, you know, try to cause the tree to bud back at the wrong time and cause problems, or is it just going to be that I don't get the flowers come springtime? So um, stick around, subscribe. You'll be able to see this in the spring. We'll go over how it's how it's doing, and uh, we'll be able to see together. You know, is is it true that you shouldn't prune an azalea like this in mid and fall or autumn, whatever you want to call it? So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe if you want to see this azalea and the other azaleas I have turned into bonsai trees. Um, I'm going to go grab the other one that I have right now, and we're just going to make some very minor trim, like trim some branches off the main trunk down at the bottom because it's causing it to bulge out. And uh, you'll see that video shortly. Thanks for watching, everybody.